Uh, hey, hey, uh, excuse me, Mr. Ultraman, sir? Huh? Oh, jeed. Yeah, what is it? Uh, I was just, uh, wondering, um, are, are you my dad? What, uh, what are you talking about? Of course I'm not your dad. Belial is. Yeah, well, about that. Whenever I transform from my human state to my default ultra state, much like all my ultra states, it is the fusion of the powers of multiple previous ultras. And the coins I use to become my default form here are my father, Belial, of course, and uh, you, implying that I am a fusion of the both of you. So that was making me wonder if maybe you are also my dad? What? No, of course not. At least not as far as I know. If you are, then I didn't consent to nothing. Besides, you don't even know where your human DNA comes from. Oh, oh my gosh, you're right, I don't. Also, by that logic, wouldn't that make every Ultra you use to make your other forms, your parents or uncles or aunts, well, maybe not aunts, you don't have any powers of the female Ultras. Because No, I don't. But, like, you ever think about that? You ever think of accusing them of being neglected family? No. no. It'd actually be weird if they were. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we're not related, kid. Oh, okay, okay. You know, you know what? So sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry to bother you with this. Uh, oh, now I feel so... feel so humiliated. Ugh. I mean, it's... It can't be true, can it? Hello and welcome to anyone and everyone who's decided to watch this video. Today, we're looking at another Ultraman, Ultra action figure, but not just any Ultraman, the original Ultraman in his third or fourth release in this line, I believe. And obviously the first one for this new American push that is apparently finally happening for this very fun toy line, bringing Ultraman more to the international stage, and obviously with the new Ultraman movie, we got stuff based on that movie, but we got to also give us the OG here, but we will put him aside for a second to look at the box, and it is basically the same box that the Ultraman from the movie came in, but instead it says Ultraman Original, and the pictures of the Ultraman from Rising doing his little energy punch have been removed with our show Ultraman doing his Spacium Beam, and then we got show Ultraman on the side, and we got the same cross cell on the back, and I feel like maybe, just like how Rising got Gigantron. We maybe should have gotten another villain in this wave, a classic monster to go with our classic Ultraman, and then the side, literally the same thing. Well, actually, no, because the original still says original, but uh, it's a little less busy than the animation one box, because it's got the energy flare in everywhere, but it's the same sort of vibe. Very nice, very, very beautiful packaging. Very, very nice. Also, no, no Netflix logo on this one because the OG Ultraman is not on Netflix, but it is on the free streaming services, so you can watch it there. Get that out of the way. And also, he comes with trading cards, and he actually comes with more than one, unlike the other two figures in this w lineup, but they're still on that pretty bad card stock. We got the original Ultraman using the red. Here's his stats. Place of origin. Uh, special move and stuff. We got Mephilus. This would be a cool one to get a figure of. We have Mephilus as he appeared in the Shin Ultraman movie, but it would be cool to get a regular Mephilus, and all of these bad guys got green. I actually wonder if these cards are maybe hinting at future releases. That would be really cool. We got uh, Jamela. I 
um, whatever. I don't know how to fully pronounce these next two. I don't even remember which specific episode this guy was in because I have watched the series. 50 meters, huh? Special move, flamethrower. Place of origin space. He doesn't have a home. And then we got Sea Boy Zoo. This guy I remember. This guy was cool. Cool looking, pretty cool episode. Definitely one of the standouts of the OG series. This guy, I would love an action figure of him. A place of origin, monster graveyard, special move, super strength. Definitely would like a figure of him. And there goes the terrible, terrible trading cards. Now let us look at Ultraman as we readjust the camera. And he is looking really good. He is definitely the Ultraman. He's got the creamy creamy colored eyes with the little holes in them that the actor can save, see through. He's got, his, uh, he's got his brick ears and his mask that makes it look like the shape of a nose, even though he doesn't technically got a nose. There's his little lower lip mouth. You can see the color timer. I mean, it's Ultraman. This is what Ultraman looks like, and I mean... I'm definitely glad to have this Ultraman because I like the OG show. It was pretty fun, and I definitely, definitely have been enjoying the Marvel Ultraman comics. And their Ultraman just looks like this Ultraman. He's a little more blue, got a little more blue infused in his silver. But you know, we'll probably never get this figure in Marvel colors like they did the figure arts. And you can see parts of him are molded in red. Parts of him are molded in gray. Well, a grayish silver and because of that there is a bit of a clash between the plastic and the paint colors I don't think it's that bad and uh, they don't really paint the backs on these ultra action figures that's fine I honestly don't have a problem with that I think it is still good looking overall and it is just a very very fun toy it is a toy and I like my toys feeling like toys so this was definitely Definitely the Ultraman toy for me. I definitely needed an OG Ultraman, and this was the one to get, and I was happy to see him re-released as part of this movie, because I was going to hunt down this mold anyway, and this definitely made it a lot easier. And as for accessories, he comes with clear versions of the energy effects from the Shin Ultraman releases in this line. That's where these parts originate from. And we got the Spacium Beam and uh, the Buzzsaw. And unlike Shin Ultraman, who had them in blue, he has them in white, because the white is more accurate to the old TV show. And how you use these, you pull out his little hinge fig fingers, and you do a that. You put him like this. You put him like this. And he is doing his beam and he's shooting it and technically got to get his legs pulled down so he's in the pose it's not staying on as good as it should and that's a little weird but uh yeah and there you go you got Ultraman doing the beam that's pretty nice that's pretty fun I do like having that and then for the buzzsaw yeah put that on the exact same way and you got him like he's oh fell off a little bit you got him doing the fro and that's good he can definitely have him post like that too I'm not as in to this accessory as the spacing beam I don't like the look of this block coming from the blade but it's not bad I don't hate it it's nice to simulate the effect of his move. I mean, I'm fine with just having the figure by itself and leaving it to the imagination, but at the same time it is cool to have him standing on a shelf with uh, these pieces. And uh, another thing about these pieces is you might remember, if you've seen my other videos, that the alien Zeton also came with these exact same two effects pieces in these exact same colors to give to the OG Ultraman because he was released before those Shin Ultraman toys were a thing and we didn't have these effects. 
So I bought Zeton first because I wanted another creature to fight off with uh, Jeed here. I guess we'll bring Jeed in now for continued size comparisons <sighs> so that when I did get the OG Ultraman, I would have the effects ready for him. Only for Ultraman to get re-released with the exact same effects. So now I got two sets of them. Oh well. <laughs> and yeah, well... But it is nice because it does mean anybody who wants this Ultraman can get the effects without needing to get a Zeton, or should we say, Zeton. That said, it would be cool if they re-released Zeton for the Americans, because Zeton's a cool figure based on a cool monster, an iconic monster. And here we have OG Ultraman next to Jeed, looking looking really nice. They look decent together. I don't think they've actually yet to truly stand side by side in the franchise, even though it would be kind of cool if they did, because for some reason Jeed, when he goes into his base mode, is depicted as using keys of the OG Ultraman and his dad, because technically every form Jeed has is supposed to be the fusion of multiple Ultras, and I'm like, does his default form need to be? But, uh, Apparently it does, and let's also bring in Belial here for more comparisons. See how he looks next to our good old original Ultraman here, and then we will bring these two to the side, and we will bring in the rising Ultraman for a little side-by-side -side of the new and the old, and you can see how the rising Ultraman is clearly meant to be less his own design and just this universe's version of the OG Ultraman, though there are the, there obviously are some differences, like the more defined abs, the silver on the OG Ultraman's chest is just some lines, whereas for Rising it's like all around his pectorals and obviously the creamy eyes of the original as opposed to the blue on Rising. I love the blue on Rising, but definitely like the look of the original as well. And, and you got less of the inconsistency in silvers on Rising, but whatever. Definitely, definitely am happy with the OG Ultraman. Although I, I might actually think Rising's figure is a little bit better. I was expecting OG Ultraman to be my favorite of the free releases based around this movie, but I do think it is Rising, but I do still love me some OG Ultraman. And speaking of Ultraman Rising figures. We gotta bring in Gigantron just to see how she looks next to OG Ultraman. And now that we've done that, let's just bring in every Ultra action figure I now have for a big old group shot. So there is Rising. Here, we'll, we'll put Emmy. We will put Jeed in here. Let's hope we can actually get everybody to fit. Let's uh, do Belial. Here on the side, he can hang off here. Uh, where can Zeton go? We'll just put him here a little sideways. Uh, and we'll just turn the camera a bit. Oh, get that out of there. Turn the camera a bit so he's properly in frame. And then, not an ultra action figure, but we gotta bring in Dinosaur Tank, the legend himself. And there we go. The Ultraman collection is growing. And yeah, pretty nice. I'm really happy with my Ultra Action figure of the OG Ultraman. I like him a lot. He's definitely decent. I do think he is probably, out of all these figures that I've gone so far, I would probably consider him the second best because I really. I really like Rising. I don't know why. I think he is the best of the set, maybe just because I really like his movie. But I do think our original Ultraman is great as well, and definitely a good figure of the one that started everything. And definitely a nice addition if you're into the Ultra action figure style, or you got a kid that fell in love with Ultraman recently through the new movie or the YouTube shows. Well, you, you, they put the show up on YouTube, I mean. They don't 
make it specifically for YouTube. I definitely think this figure is worth getting. It's very fun, it's very simple, and it is a toy. It feels nice, it plays nice, it's got all the movement, and it's just a good all-around Ultraman action figure, as the name Ultra Action Figure is meant to imply. And I think I've rambled on enough now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys around.